60-year-old Rodolfo Pazanlea. He is accused of fatally shooting 43-year-old Dante Dwayne Welch in Oak Grove, Kentucky on Sunday morning. At around 11.20am on the 5th of March, Dante and his toddler were sitting in the vehicle, parked in the driveway of his home at 227 New Gritton Avenue, when an altercation broke out. A witness reported seeing neighbour Rodolfo fatally shoot Dante. It's unclear what started the fight. Police arrested Rodolfo at his home, where officers located the suspected murder weapon. The following morning, Rodolfo was arraigned in court on charges of murder and wanted endangerment. He pleaded not guilty to the charges and is held at the Christian County Jail on a $500,000 bond. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for the 13th of March. 32-year-old Sean Sanderson is in custody hours after being accused of fatally stabbing his brother and injuring his mother inside a suburban home in Melbourne, Australia on Wednesday morning. Sean's 65-year-old mother was stabbed in her neck and was rushed to the Royal Melbourne Hospital in a serious but stable condition. Her 29-year-old son was also stabbed and had ran across the street to a private hospital to try and get help, but succumbed to his injuries outside. And just after 8am on the 8th of March, authorities responded to Willoughby Street in Reservoir on reports of the stabbing and identified Sean as a suspect. Initially, a team of heavily armed police surrounded the residence and tried to negotiate with Sean through a megaphone to come outside. Two hours later, after storming the premises, they realised he was not home and an extensive search began for him. At 2.40pm, officers located Sean on the corner of Murray Street and St George's Road in Preston, and he was arrested. He was barefoot, shirtless, had a gash to his cheek, and was found with a wad of cash on him. He was taken to the Heidelberg Police Station for questioning, where he faces multiple charges including murder. The investigation into the matter continues. Police are investigating the fatal shooting of a woman in Indianapolis, Indiana early Monday morning. At around 2am on the 6th of March, home surveillance video recording captured a truck turning off South Arlington Avenue and onto Oak Avenue in the Irvington neighbourhood, followed by a single gunshot. Moments later, a man began yelling for help and neighbours called 911. When the police arrived at the scene, they found an unresponsive woman lying in the middle of the street with a gunshot wound. She was pronounced dead at the scene. The Marin County Coroner's Office identified the victim as 36-year-old Dorothy Brinker. Police determined that the man who was at the scene was a person of interest, and he was taken into custody for questioning. Police said that the man and Dorothy knew each other, but would not state what their relationship was. Witnesses claimed the violence was domestic-related. The investigation into the matter continues. 58-year-old Jerome Booth is behind bars after allegedly shooting two men on Sunday morning. At around 3am on the 5th of March, authorities responded to a gas station on the intersection of West Washington Street and Holt Road in Indianapolis, Indiana, on a report of a man shot. When officers arrived, the victim told police that he ran to the gas station for help after being shot in the neck by his father-in-law, Jerome, following a dispute involving the victim's wife. The wounded man was conscious and alert, and medics transported him to a local hospital. Police tracked Jerome down to a home a block away, along Rockville Road, where they found a second victim, 39-year-old William Hoskins Jr. dead in the trunk of an SUV. Willie was a friend of the wounded victim. Police located the suspected murder weapon behind the home in some bushes. Jerome was arrested for murder, but he refused to explain why the shooting took place. He's been held without bond. <laughs>